All right, welcome back to another Japan Book Hunter. And today we're gonna look at some manga that I've picked up over, you know, the past few weeks here and there. This is a manga haul video, my friends. Let's go. All right, let's start off by taking a look at some Shiro Masamune. Not his stuff that he put out like later on in his career, but his earlier stuff like Dominion. So this is, I believe, the first Dominion from 1987. This is the same Dominion, but I think this one came out around 19, I don't know, 1993 or so. And uh, it's just an, kind of an updated version, but it, they're, they're the same book. They open the same. This has a couple like little color pages in it. But Dominion's always a fun, a fun one. I mean, like, one of the best in cyberpunk. It's a shame that he doesn't do cyberpunk stuff anymore. Or, you know, like Tank Police or Orion. I love these pages, these Dominion file pages that kind of break down characters or break down vehicles. Pretty much those are some of the little additions that they added to the original one. Of course, I sell my books over at japanbookhunter.com. And these will be up there. You know, I'm buying about 1,300, 1,500 books a month. So these manga haul videos, I could, I could make one a day if I wanted to. I could make one a day if I wanted to. But I just wanted to pick out some of the stuff that I really like. Or that I've been psyched about lately. Or some things that other people have been psyched about. And of course, he also did Orion. Maybe, you know, we should go to Dominion Conflict 1 first because, you know. We just looked at Dominion. Ooh, makes me want to eat ramen. He takes this approach a lot where he puts a character in like a shape, often a circle. Yeah. They, uh, in the anime, they strip down and then shoot machine guns at police. I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. It's been a long time, my friends. Some Orion I dig a lot, but Black Magic I really dig. I mean, you gotta admit, the man can draw. Too bad all he draws these days are slippery ladies. Very slippery ladies. And Black Magic is a fun one. So that's some Shiro Masamune that I picked up recently. I mean, I, I always dig a one shot, especially because I'm so busy. It's hard for me to sit down. I mean, I, I started 14 by Umez, jeez, two years ago, and then took a break and went back to it, took a break. I mean, it's like 17 volumes, 18 volumes, something like that. Not as long as Makoto-chan, which is 24, but Makoto-chan is a little bit different because they're all like little stories. There's not a lot of continuity there. The only continuity is that Makoto-chan's a little rug rat running around doing weird shit. All right, hardcover Hino Hideshi. So Hideshi Hino, of course, published in English by Starfruit Books last year. I think there was 11 put out in English back in the day. Must have been early 2000s by now. But uh, yeah, Starfruit Books did City of Pigs, that's cool. I think they're doing something else here soon. But me, I like, for the Japanese stuff, I like to try to find the hardcover Hino editions because as you know, it's hard to find hard covers. I should have said difficult, God. But anyways, oh, look at that cover though. Isn't that sick? This is the Yuki Ona or like the winter woman, you know, snow woman, snow woman, not winter. Uh, Kaidan means kind of ghost story. This story of the snow woman. Of course, Kino is the master of body horror. You don't get him in color or even two color very often, but that's the cool thing about getting these hard covers is you get a little bit of extra that you wouldn't get in a regular paperback tonko bone. Reminds me almost of like a Gato Magazine print quality as well, which is cool. Rokurokubi, Rokurokubi. It's like, you know, that long necked yokai. Of 
Floating heads in the woods, never a good sign. This is Panorama of Hell in hardcover. The only thing I don't like about this is the, the cover is awful. The cover is ugly. I mean, the 90s did, I mean, I don't know. But these color pages on the inside are amazing. Again, this is the, these are the bonuses you get when you buy hardcover manga is you'll get a couple little extras that you normally wouldn't get in a standard paperback tonko bone. These are a bunch of stories of fables by Hino Hideshi. In this, there's a lot of fighting of, you know, spiders and snakes and monsters and other creepy, creepy apparitions. And again, lots of body horror. It's fun. Ugh. And this one I found again, I've talked about it before, but the blood flowers, you get some classic stories in here, including Zoroku, which really, you know, I've said it before, really put Hino on the map. All of these I have in my personal collection already. So all of these are up on the website. A little Suikawari or watermelon splitting. And that's some Hino that I picked up recently. Uh, you know, I've had this one in and out of the shop these days, but uh, you know, it's my haul video. I can talk about whatever I want. Here's one. I picked up this first appearance of Akira, of course, Young Magazine. Um, I was gonna, you know, I was contemplating slabbing it, but then I'm like, why? I mean, I, just to protect it more than anything. I, I don't really care about grading. We don't grade here in Japan. So uh, then I thought about it and like, you know, Chris Anderson, the comic book artist, he made a good point. He's like, why slab it when you can just go buy a nice case for it, put it in the nice case, display it in your shop. And I was like, you know what? I am gonna do that. So I'm gonna take this over to the old guy up the road that does all my framing for me and I'm gonna have him find a good floating frame and I'm gonna have him mount this in it. I mean, I'll change the wrapper, you know, wrap it in some crystal wrap nice and clean and it will just display. Cause I mean, I've read it before I've owned, this is the fourth one I've owned. I've sold three of them and I would, was thinking about selling this one to be honest, but I'm like, dude, you're the book hunter. You gotta have the first appearance of a kidder in your shop. So there we go. I am going to frame this up and hang it up in the shop for display. And I am a sucker for signed books. And I got these. This is a Nemoto Takeshi 80s. I believe it's 19. This is from an exhibition. It's got an exhibition postcard in it. Found this at just a little bookshop like outside of, outside of where I usually hunt. Uh, 1992. This is a 1992. Got a little stamp. I mean, it's basically an art book, but if you don't know Takeshi Nemoto, he's a, and I, I've heard I, everyone that I know that knows him, whether it's, you know, Matsuda Koichi, or it's my friend Yuka that owns a bookstore here in Tokyo, that everyone says that he's just the nicest guy. You wouldn't know it by looking at his art. Um, sometimes I find, I mean, I do stock his manga in the shop as well. This is a tight tie blues. It says K Nemoto. He decided to go by K for this release. And I think this release only. This is not signed. It looks like it's signed, but that's just printed on there. But of course he's famous for his Heta Uma style or well drawn poorly, poorly well drawn. Oh, he just got punched in the face. Gatsun. But that is Nemoto. I have sold a few signed Nemoto things in the past and I am not going to sell this one. That is for my personal collection, my friends. And then dude, I, I posted this to the website. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, of course this is Yas, you know, Yasuhiko. Um, this is Maraya, the Omnibus Edition. He did a four volume edition as well in full color and then later released this omnibus edition. And I bought this and I was like, God, man, 
This is, I think, the fourth one that I've bought and I've never kept one. I had the four volume set. I read it. I sold it after I read it. You know, they're over they're the larger size. I don't know, B5 or something like that. I don't know. I felt like I didn't have a good place to put it. So like I sold it and then I was like, I'll just keep an omnibus at some point. I found this one, I posted it to the website. And then when I was cleaning up the other day, I started flipping through it and check this out. It's signed by Yas, signed. I almost sold it for a bit more than I got it for. I don't know what I was thinking. And so this, my fine friends, is going to go into my personal collection. All right, let's look at one more thing I got here. I'm always talking about how much I love Hayashida Q or Q Hayashida. You know, when volume 16 of Doroe Doro came out, they did a special campaign where they had this supplemental special set that you could buy. And this is the special set. It comes with El Cuento Corto del Diablo. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm sorry, my Spanish speaking friends out there. Volume 16 with the OB, and I have this. I also have another one of these on its own, but I think I'm gonna keep that one and just sell these as a set. These are up on the website, but four, I believe there's four manga stories in here and a bunch of illustrations, all color. Dang. Hayashida can draw. This is a story about his friend that has his guts on the outside of his body. It's pretty funny. It's actually kind of cute. I love these illustrations they put in here. We got lots more YouTube videos planned here in the near future. So subscribe, tell your friends, let's keep this going. Brandon's gonna be, you know, Brandon does our video editing and he's gonna be coming in full time later this year. So we're gonna have more time to pump out rad YouTube videos and other content for y'all. I mean, of course I sell books for a living. That's what I do now. And, uh, that's why, but I mean, my whole point of doing all of this in the first place was to showcase great manga, art, photography, just cool stuff, stuff that I'm into to people that otherwise may not know about it. And that's always been the goal. So these YouTube videos, I believe, are a great way to do that. Yeah, I like the community. It's fun. It's all fun. It's all fun and games. It's all manga fun and games, my friends. And that is part one of my manga haul video for this month, this week, the last couple weeks, something like that. But I think we're gonna split this up into two parts. So we'll be back soon. Remember, japanbookhunter.com is where I sell my books. Japan Book Hunter on TikTok, on Instagram. Instagram, by the way, is where I post the weirdest and rarest stuff from my collection that, you know, if I can't restock it, I'm not putting it on the website usually. So I'll sell it over there on Instagram. So one thing to do if you're looking for those rare ones, you know, you're looking for Kaze Shinobu's Tiger Mask, you the strongest, or you're looking for something, you know, like signed Maeda Toshio or something like that, then head over to Instagram and turn on your notifications because man, I'm telling you, you're like, we only got like 14K over there or something, and, you know, followers. But when I post, they go fast. And we will be back soon with part two of this manga haul video. Matere.